Welcome back to the channel. Boy, it is windy today, but it's warm. It's over 60 degrees here in the Northeast on this December day. Well, I'm really glad you're here today because I'm gonna show you a way to speed up your productivity when splitting short rounds with your log splitter. So stick around. Welcome to my cluttered garage. You know I'm really glad you're here. Yeah. I've been cutting my logs 16 inches long because that seems to be the length that a lot of people like to have and it also works well with my fire pit. So one of the problems with this is that this log is 16 inches, the splitter opening is 24 inches. So when you're in the auto return mode of the splitter, you're waiting for this wedge to return all the way to the, to the home point, unless your hands are free and you can tap it and stop it. But sometimes your hands aren't free, it ends up returning the whole way, and then you're, you're wasting time. And it's, it's seconds, but it all adds up. So I was thinking of a way to prevent this from returning all the way, and I couldn't really come up with anything. I tried putting some pieces of pipe behind it so that it would hit and, and kick back. Uh, it bent three quarter inch pipe like it wasn't even there. I put a piece of a quarter inch plate steel behind there, and that did work but I didn't like that because it's putting pressure on the connection point of this splitting wedge. So the trick really is to just move the log closer to the wedge and fill in this gap. So here's the simple solution. Just a six by six cut to length and I'll show you how it fits on here. I also attached some nylon strap to it. You can use it to carry it, but also this is made so that it will keep this from vibrating off the splitter. I'll throw it on there and show you. So this just simply sits on the back plate like so. And that nylon strap keeps this from vibrating off. Now you're cutting against this or splitting against this. Now you can see the return on this end is only a couple of inches. It's a pretty simple solution. So let's try it out. Well, you have to appreciate a pretty simple solution like this. Now, I can't take credit for this idea. I have to thank the several viewers who wrote in the comments of one of my other videos suggesting this after they saw the wide return gap that I had on the splitter. So, great idea, it works really well. Now, it's not gonna work if you're using your splitter vertically. I mean, it, it would work, 
no pun intended, it would work, but you'd have to pick up your logs on top of this and that's probably an added effort that you may not want to do. So using it horizontally, it works really well and I love it. So thanks for watching today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to join us because we have a lot of fun here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out one of these other videos and I look forward to seeing you next time.